Hello YouTube, Bowtie Media here, and today this video is sponsored by Hair Product. Put some in before doing the video. But we are not here to talk about this, we are here to talk about this week in EDM. Look at that transition, I didn't even know I was going to do that. Uh, I've got 20 songs that came out this week that I wanted to talk about. As always, there is a Spotify link below for all the songs in chronological order. Make sure you sort by recently added. But um, let's hop into it. we got two songs in Trash, so we are going to start in Trash this week. Um, we've got Love Me by Dr. Ushu. Ushu? Um, I, I'm just not a fan of rhythm. Uh, there's some more rhythm on Monster Cat here, and it's really not for me. It's just so unpleasant for my ears, I think. Um, the sharp, uh, like, I don't know, metallic synths are just too, I don't know. They're too piercing for me, and I just do not enjoy the sounds of, of this. So I'm sorry. Uh, then we've got uh, Shh, 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 Shh by, or Hit That, uh, by Dubs featuring Wiz Khalifa, your favorite ex-boyfriend and gold soul. Uh, what even is this? I personally love EDM and rap when it's all together, but this is just weird. It's almost like a cringe song almost too. The hook is like these shushes. It's like, shh, 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 shh. It, it goes, shh, 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 all the time. And it's, I'll say it's unique, um, but in, in a bad way. So, uh, and then we've got marshmallow in the bad category so bad category uh we've got marshmallow with unity um definitely not his most egregious track to date yet but far from his uh his best um the back instrumentation is kind of that same style we've heard from and know and love from marshmallow at this point uh we've heard it for about a half decade now it just feels like a kind of throwaway basic marshmallow track honestly so and then we've got Turn Off the Lights by Nikki Romero. This is not the Fred Again and Sweet House Mafia song, uh, because that would be again. But uh, yeah, Deep House with um, the lights repeated about a million times in two and a half minutes. Uh, the production isn't too bad, but those vocals, they're just saying, the lights, the lights, over and over again is just annoying. And I, I couldn't, I couldn't get, yeah, I couldn't deal with the song anymore. Uh, then we've got Memories by Midas. The Memories 4-track EP is out now, and uh, this track, I've only heard Memories so far from the whole EP, and uh, just sounds like basic mellow dub from 2015. It sounds like he's trying to rip off Elenium, and it's just not really enticing. Uh, there's no real movements to the track that feel engaging or gripping, and it's just bland to me, honestly, so... We've got Make Some Noise by Benny Benassi, Chris Nasty, and Constantin. Uh, this is Big Room House that feels severely outdated. That's that. Uh, moving into the meh category songs that I thought were just meh. Again, these are my own personal opinions. Uh, we've got Titans by Excision and Wooly. Uh, this is miles stronger and a better track than Name Drop, which came out from these two earlier, uh, or back in the late end of, I think, August 2022. Uh, it really do, does feel like these their two styles are a lot more complementary of each other in this track opposed to Name Drop. Although I didn't really love the kind of halftime dubstep drops in the second half of each of the two drops. Uh, but there's uh, there's definitely some, some good gold here, I would say. But overall, it was a pretty meh track. Then we've got Purity by Akali. Now, this is a two-in-one track here with the uh, first half being very much a kind of hybrid trap sound with the back end being uh, your tried and true drum and bass, really. Uh, it didn't feel like I don't know. In the end, it felt like it was a little too linear for my liking, both structurally and sonically. It just didn't feel like it was giving me a whole ton to hold on to. So, uh, then we've got Can't Get You Out of My Head by Oblivion featuring Lena Leon. And if that title sounds familiar to you, it's because this is a cover from Kylie Minogue, the Can't Get You Out of My Head. That's just a cover of this uh, with the kind of classic keyboard solo synths that you know from Oblivion. Uh, just didn't uh, kind of grip me as much as the other tracks. It kind of felt a little more uh, lackadaisical in my mind compared to the other Oblivion tracks that I've enjoyed. So... Then we got Falling Down by Nuzb, uh, Mick, Mazu, Mazu, and uh, Ioban. Wow, I cannot say any of these names. Uh, <laughs> for these three, I expected a lot more pizzazz, but uh, didn't really get it. This is fairly basic house that sounds uh, like the most boring parts of all three of their discographies all put in one. It sounds like, yeah, all that, yeah, that's pretty much the best way to describe it, I think. <laughs> Honestly, I'll leave it at that. Uh, then we got Vision by Habstract, uh, track two from an upcoming album. We're not sure what the album is yet at this point, but uh, he said it's track two. Uh, it's a little bit of a, you've heard Kitchen Step, but this is kind of Kitchen House, I think. It's very ripe for the club scene and uh, not too crazy, but uh, still, still a fun little track. 
Then we've got Segfault by Sofon and Ferris. Very intense drum and bass drops here uh, with, a th with a smooth midsection that I really enjoy. Is really enjoyed with a lot of very punchy hits that kind of add a, a tempo that's faster than you normally hear. Like you hear a hit like a dung dung, like that kind of thing. It's like dun 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 dun. It's like really almost weird at first, but then you get into it, you're like, okay, no, I like this. Um, and then just a random kind of guitar string out of nowhere here around the track. It's It kind of has everything and it's really a little weird, but also I liked it. So that's why it's kind of just here, so. Uh, and then we've got Incubator by Eddie, a uh, quaint little uh, techno track here that sounds right at home with the likes of kind of Rez's discography. Uh, oh wait, this is on Rez's label, so that's why it sounds like this. So if you wanted to hear Rez, but you wanted to hear it in the style of Eddie, uh, this is the song to go to. Uh, it's a dark sound with some interesting ideas, and uh, I did enjoy it, but I think it's just not enough to get in the landing good, so. Uh, then we've got the good category. Sadly, no standouts this week. Sadly, no standout, which is, oh, maybe a little bit of a teaser for what might be coming ahead. Uh, but we've got a part by Overwork. Uh, lots of kind of 3D design, I would say, sound design, where you kind of hear it from all the different angles. Um, but uh, it's also got that iconic Overwork bass line sound that we have kind of come to know and love from Overwork, especially in the last um, bunch of years. Uh, but it was a bit a tad repetitive, I would say. Great sound design and mixing uh, does make up for it, though, in the end. Uh, then we've got Hit My Line by Skylar. Uh, despite being short and with not a ton happening in the off drops, I think the drop sections do really make up for other shortcomings. Um, it's a kind of hybrid trap banger that's really uh, engaging to listen to and something that feels uh, fresh while still having like, kind of feeling like it brings me back to old trap that I really enjoyed while still sounding fresh and modern, so. Uh, and then we've got Still Here by Fox Stevenson. The Enemy Brain Entertainment Suite EP is out now. It's a nine track EP, very, very long. This easily could have been an album. But uh, this track in particular is a more intense drum and bass sound from Fox Stevenson. Uh, while still keeping a signature liquid kind of atmosphere. I, I hope that makes sense, but uh, I've always kind of known Fox Stevenson to have the kind of very smooth sound, especially in the more modern, I would say more recently. Uh, but this kind of is a bit of both, of a bit of the kind of hard hit while still being that smooth Fox that we kind of know and love. Of, which I've said a couple times now. Uh, and then we got Thinking by Cloud Nun and Park Avenue. Uh, drum and bass from Cloud Nun? What? Okay. Uh, I love the rising and falling synth licks here all throughout uh, with melancholy uh, vocals added from Park Avenue is a huge bonus, especially to the whole atmosphere and thematics of the track. Um, great, great, great track. Then we've got Every Little Thing by Conroe. I have not been loving Conroe's releases as of late, particularly in 2022, uh, but this feels like a return to form for me personally. Uh, this is kind of his classic falsetto vocals with a house beat to it and uh, vocal chops, which we haven't really heard a ton really in Conroe's discography. And uh, it really sells this whole track, I think, for me here. Uh, it's nothing too crazy, but I think that just the, the usage of the vocal chops really adds a lot, a uh, really brand new layer to the track and especially to Conroe's sound design. So I'd love to hear him do some more of that. Uh, and our runner-up track of the week is Used to Losing You by Blank and Hello World featuring Luma and JT Roach. Both this track and the next track both could have been standout. I'm still kind of teetering the line between it, but I think I just need to put them in good for now. Uh, but this track in particular is a huge collab that I think really held up. This is one of Blank's best songs, I think, actually just all time. Uh, it really solid melodic dubstep with a structure that is still like, fairly linear, uh, but sounds nice and fresh. Uh, and those off-drop sections are absolutely uh oh they're they're nuts and i really like them and i love the vocals from uh both uh, luma and jt roach here i love having both a male and a female vocal uh adding on track that kind of bounce back and forth i th i think it's great so and our best track of the week if you haven't already figured it out by now it is xena by skrillex and naya barkuti uh, the Trap Skrillex baby is here, uh, kind of a bit of a callback to form of a Jack U of sorts, um, with a fascinating, fascinating pseudo psytrance drop in the back end, very interesting, uh, but great vocal performance here, love the thematics. Um, this one I think will grow on me a little bit more, but for now, I think it's just in good. I don't think it lands in standout. We'll see where it lands in the whole rest of the project, the, le the rest of the um, whatever he's releasing, the albums, album, whatever it is, but... Uh, yeah, so that has been this week in EDM. Let me know what you think of any and all songs in the comment section below. Let me know if anything that I missed this week. But uh, other than that, I am Bowtie Media with Messy Hair, and I will see you guys in another video.